Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about planning in artificial intelligence. Right? What is planning? Uh, when I want to automate certain things, how exactly the process is going to look like? So that is called planning. Uh, for example, like uh, when there is an automated robot delivery systems and all, a robot has to start from a place and it has to deliver a package to a destination and the way in which it is planned. Right? So the sequence of actions that are going to club together into this process. Right? This is called the planning. Uh, planning is very important when you want to uh, make an automatic decision making systems. Okay, so planning is a process of formulation of sequence of action to achieve a specific goal. For example, in a real time, if I want to uh, reach a college, if I want to go to college, I have certain actions to be performed. I have to wake up on time, I have to get ready, I have to gather my books, got the, I have to get a correct bus to reach the destination. So these are all the sequence of actions that I'm going to perform and uh, to reach the goal. What is the goal? Goal is to reach the college on time, right? So the planning actually is the involves in the process of formulating these sequence of actions. This is how my action look like. I'll have some set of actions and this is the sequence in which it will be executed to reach the uh, final goal, right? So this process is called planning. So usually it will answer like how exactly you're going to execute the process and when you're going to do it. See, when I have a lot of actions, for each and every action, I have certain uh, timing or the priorities to be done. For example, like uh, if I want to reach, uh, before reaching the bus, I have to get ready, I have to gather my books, everything has to be completed to reach, to take bus, right? Before going into the bus, I have to do all these things. So this is like like answering all these questions, we have to combine all these things together into a sequence of actions. That is your planning process. So the planning actually helps in uh, making a decision in a structured and optimal way. This is, this is the formal way of doing things. And this, like when I take this sequence of action, I'm going to reach to my destination faster. I'm going to reach to the goal faster. Okay. So that is how a planning is. So it has to answer the question of how you're going to do and when you're going to do. And one real time example, like, uh, when I when I take it as a real time example, like we can have a normal day to day activities and in AI thing, like what is artificial intelligence when you want to automate something that comes under our artificial intelligence, right? So in terms of artificial intelligence, I can take an example of delivery robot system, uh, like a robot is planning to deliver some goods to a destination. So how it is going to do it has to start from its place and it has to find the shortest route. And the route that also avoids all the obstacles and traffic and it has to reach the destination. So I have to frame, like the robot has to automatically frame this path itself, right? So that process is called the planning. Okay, so it involves a sequence of action and that sequence of action are arranged in order to reach the specific goal. That is called a planning. Uh, in a day-to-day -day life, I have some examples that is given like a mother want to schedule a daily chores. Uh, like for a daily activities, we'll have a lot of activities to be done by a mother and the sequence in which they plan is important. For example, uh, in the early morning, like the time in which they get up, the time before school, the uh, food has to be ready for the children. So all this has, each and every activity has its own timing and based on the timing, a mother has to plan the activities, right? And another example I can give for planning in daily activity is like a student preparing for examination. Uh, like during semester examination, what happened? We'll have a lot of subjects we have to study on. And few subjects we could have already halfway prepared on and few subjects we could have, we, we might not have touched on. Okay, during study holidays, how we plan? Uh, we'll try to take, it depends on person to person. Someone will take an easy subject first. So they will have the checklist. So the subject is completed. So I'm satisfied with it. Okay, and it goes on, it depends, right? So uh, this is your planning and daily activity. Now, how come we are going to automate that? Okay, what like how what all the process involved in automating this planning in artificial intelligence? So the planning problem actually consists of a domain model, initial state and goal state. So all planning is for certain purpose. That purpose is called a goal state. Okay, so goal state is the desired outcome that we are going to get it. For example, in an automated delivery system, uh, the robot has to deliver the package in the destination. So that is the goal. Okay. And the initial state is the place where the process actually starts. The robot actually it is in the starting place with the package with it. Okay. That is your initial state. And so this is the fact. These two are the fact. I have initial state, I have the goal state. And what all the other things that are involved in reaching it? 
okay so it will have a lot of uh, actions and lot of preconditions lot of fx lot of variables dot lot of dynamic environments right so everything combined together we call it as a domain model so the domain model comprises of it describes all the available actions and the actions will also have its own precondition and what is our outcome of it everything is given that is called a domain model and it has one initial state one goal state okay so this is how a planning problem was described on and the components of planning system includes uh, like it actually starts in selecting the actions like what all the action that is preferable at this present situation once the action is selected we will execute the action and once the execution of action is done we will ver verify whether the goal is reached or not and in case sometimes we'll have a dead end and when there is a dead end what we do we have to recover back and start going the another path okay and when the solution is partial i want to check the remaining possibility so these are all the components that are involved in a planning system for example uh, a real time example that we can give us uh, ai 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 based chess uh, chess board playing game okay so what happened it is to play a game what happened in chess it is to play a game uh, based on the move that the person is going to move the opponent is going to make we have to find all the remaining uh, best moves and we adjust ourselves into winning the goal right and this changes each and every time each and every time when our opponent make a move for that move we try to find the best possible outcome of it and we make a move on that okay so that is the component of planning system so we select action perform it and we check whether the goal is reached or not and if it is not reached it is a partial solution we check for the next possibility and if there is a dead end we have to backtrack and try for the next possibility okay so these are all the components of planning system and the way in which we represent a basic planning system is like you will have a lot of sets like uh, we know what is planning what all the things that are involved in it next is like how you are going to represent that planning right that is your representation so we usually use this state action and goal set okay so you have a, a set of states that are available set of states are the play uh, or the present scenario snapshot of the environment like when we do this process a snapshot of it okay and we have certain actions to be performed so actions will have a precondition and after effects too and we'll have a goal state the final desired outcome that we want to reach okay so what we do is like we have the actions operators to be performed and the state present state we are in based on that we do some actions and we try to reach the goal and uh, this reaching goal will have a lot of sub goals in it so i have each and every representations for it uh, we have, we can use a proportional logic uh, or the first order logic statement or a state variable representation for it uh, here in this example i have used a first order logic representation for each a state is denoted as a fact okay a fact in a logic for example apple is on the table so this is one example okay when there is an apple on the table i can use this representation using first order logic this is easy for us to understand we can use either first order logic or a proportional logic based on the scenario that is given to us okay for example uh, uh, if you want to track all the like you if you have a sensor to track all the elements that are there that are available in entity that are available in the fridge we can use milk is in the fridge egg is in the fridge and whatever we are discussing here is conjected together conjected in sense milk is there in the fridge it's true and egg is also there in the fridge so we can use the conjunction between all the literals so state consists of a lot of set of states at the present scenarios and every state is conjected and connected so what is the meaning of and connected everything is true yeah egg is there in the fridge yes and milk is there in the fridge yes so we can use a representation like this to denote it okay see when you are doing a planning uh, we should formally write it we should formally represent it right so this is how we represent a state and for a goal also we'll have a desired satisfactory conditions okay so that actually matches with the uh, matches with the facts uh, what is the final goal that we are going to reach in for a automated uh, delivery system we have a starting point we have a destination and in between we have certain rules that are has to be verified okay and this is your final goal representation and action is very important when you are uh, like your initial state representation is easy and your goal representation is also is easy but when you want to represent your actions each and every action will have a precondition so when i want to 
this i will take the same example when i want to drive a car from a place to a place okay so this is your action i am going to drive car c from a place to a destination okay so this is how i can represent it so what will be the precondition so that should be a car so c is a car and c should be in the from place so c is at from so this is called precondition before action where we are and after performing the action where we are going to okay so that is your post condition so these two has to be represented when you are defining a action okay so action consists of i'm going to drive a car from a from a place to a destination so my precondition is c should be a car and the car is at the from place got it and what will be the post condition post condition is we have to reach the destination so the car will not be there in the from place so c is not at the from and c is at the destination 2 is your destination so this is your post condition okay so this is how we represent a plan a action okay the planning consists of some sequence of action and each and every action is represented in terms of logical statement like this this is a easy way of representing things got it so these are all about your initial planning condition so what is a plan plan consists of some sequence of action to be performed to reach a destination so what all there in your planning you will have a initial state goal state and a domain knowledge and this domain knowledge includes every actions that can be performed and uh, the way in which we represent uh, these planning consists of a state representation so state is nothing but the snapshot of the environment what exactly is there at the environment right now so you'll have a lot of things at the environment right now everything is and connected whatever is true everything is and connected and you have a goal representation goal is the final place where we want to reach on so that like here in this example uh, we might be uh, the goal might be you are at c2 okay the car is at the destination if that is the goal that is needed then we can take this as a goal state okay the way in which we represent we use first order logic or a proportional logic for representing things and uh, the actions are represented in terms of uh, action what you are going to perform and what is the precondition of it what is the post condition of it okay and here is also like preconditioning consists of some set of literals that are connected using at and post condition also also some set of literals that are connected using and okay so this is how a planning is represented and what all the applications of planning is we use like in case of artificial intelligence when automatically something has to be in robotics and all uh, the robot has to automatically plan its action okay like uh, when a robot want to do something it has to perform this planning by itself and again for gaming whenever whatever is the uh, person who is planning playing on based on his move the goal the next move has to be taken by the ai and again logistic military space mission like when i want when uh, when a satellite is launched it has to play find a way in which it has to reach its destination and once it is reached it has to observe everything right everything includes planning okay like our day to day activity even for an automated system everything has to be planned right so these are all the applications of uh, planning in ai so in next few videos i'll give you the example or the explanation of some other procedures okay like i'll give you some example of what is a block world problem what is mean and analysis and what is a planning agent will do in this and all right thank you